Hello, my friends, and welcome back to this week's episode of Trust Me, I'm an Author. Uh, this is episode three, and we are going to be talking about book covers. They, you know, people really do judge a book by their cover, just letting you know. Okay, so getting a good book cover is very, very important. Um, a good book cover tells a story in and of itself without being overwhelming. Um, it doesn't have to be a renaissance renaissance masterpiece okay but what it does need to do is it needs to convey the feel of the book to your audience so when they pull it off a shelf or they're scrolling through Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever online your cover is enough to make them stop to pause and go hmm that looks interesting we are very visual creatures okay um, unless you're blind and then you're bra braille and that's a whole different subject but anyway uh, for most people, we are very visual. Uh, so if we do not have a good eye-catching uh, book cover, no matter how great your book is, there is a very good chance no one's going to buy it. And it's sad, but it's true. So you, and I understand as an author, you have put in all this time and effort and money and, and everything else into producing this wonderful book. But if you have a very plain cover, chances are you're not selling. Uh, so Again, if you have our planning of going to the traditional route, this is not something that you're going to have to worry about. Why? Because the publishing house will provide one for you. Uh, they usually give you several copies. Um, choose the one that appeals to you the most. Now, for the rest of us, indie authors, uh, it's on us, baby. Uh, we are. We have to basically get into the psychology of, of the people we are trying to attract. Uh, what is it about your book in your genre that's going to make people pause in their scrolling and in their browsing and go, hmm, this looks interesting. It can be bold colors. Uh, it could be an action scene. Um, it could be, you know, whatever it is. It needs to be a tease. It should be enough that people go, I wonder what's in this book because of what's on this cover. Uh, so, when it comes to getting a cover artist, uh, get a good one, unless you are artistic yourself, which I am. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't get help. But if, if you are not an artistic person, then you need to get a good cover artist, someone who is good at their job, who does what they say they are going to do, and most importantly, is not going to break the bank. Um, I am the founder of Indies United, and we do have vendors. Um, uh, we have vendors that do provide uh, book covers at a very reasonable price if you'd like to check us out but again there are thousands probably more um, cover artists out there all you have to do though is make sure that when you are looking for them that you get samples that you see examples of what they can do and books that they have um, produced covers for and then you can even look up those books and see how they're doing you know on Amazon on Barnes and Noble uh, get their statistics and see if, if those covers are bringing in people uh, because again a good story is great but it's gonna be the cover that stops them and goes hmm I wonder so please 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 put as much effort into getting your book cover as you do in getting make making sure that the inside of your book is well done so good luck guys I wish you well um, do your research be cautious and again you can always go to Indies United at www.indiesunited.net and um, and see what we have to offer. And you know, again, if you have any questions, uh, if you want some advice, we are here for you. Um, we are a co-op of authors trying to help one another, and that's what we're here for. So anyway, take care, everyone. Um, next week we are going to be talking about do I KDP select or not? It's a big question. So anyway, I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.